news courtesy of Mixmag. Unfortunate news for this individual. Felix Hall, Felix Hall, steps down from NTS and removed from lineups after sending death threats and anti-Palestinian abuse. <laughs> this guy was definitely off the shits randomly one day. So it says the following. Felix Hall has stepped down from his regular slot at NTS and has been removed from the club, um, from club and festival lineups after multiple DJs spoke out about abusive experiences with the London-based DJ and radio host, including sending him death threats and anti-Palestinian hate speech. <laughs> How do you get into that just randomly? You're just at home one day and you just start sending people random shit. Um, anyway, it continues. On April 11th, New York-based artist um, Rainstick, real name Anthony Lowe, posted a statement on Instagram saying that Hall had sent completely unprovoked violent Zionist messages, including vile death threats against my family. Let's see these messages. I want to see these death threats against my family. This is pretty hilarious. God almighty, what was he doing? He was probably off the shits, probably in a cat dive. You know, you know, we've all been there, I think, in some manner or way. But this is a statement from him. He says, Friday, April 7th, DJ and label owner Felix Hall, Chrome Records, sent me a completely unprovoked, violent Zionist message, including vile death threats against my family. I did not respond or open the messages. He then blocked me. That's a bit of a lie, though, isn't it? How could you see the messages but not respond to them? Mm, anyway, completely. And move. Upon sharing screenshots with multiple friends in a music, so he saw, okay, music community, I learned that he also menaced at least two other people, a female musician of color with Zionist messages that this may be a pattern of anti Palestinian behavior. Why is it important that she's a female of color, by the way? If he doesn't matter who he sends them to, they're pretty bad, isn't it? But anyway, let's just continue. I have no personal history with Felix and neither did the other musicians he attacked, as far as I know. Our common thread was that either supporting Palestine or being Palestinian. My partner is Palestinian, hence the family death threats. I also have heard from musicians who believe Felix stopped speaking to them because of their support of Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy's crazy. Look at Claire Peepee trying to jump on, get some clout points there. Get get out of here, man. Anyway, I did not wish um to deal with this publicly, but I must inform these in my community with him uh, or for for their own safety. Felix's own statement about his attacks hides the truth. It does not exp explicitly address or condemn the extreme violence and bigotry he has expressed. <coughs> he only commits to healing. His mental health and alcoholism is manipulative and places himself as a victim. Next page. He urges communication but turned off comments on his posts as soon as community members began engaging. His repeated um, actions show he is trying to hide the truth of his behaviours. Weaponizing mental health is this, this um, disingenuous. Felix is taking advantage of this, drumming up sympathy with no questions asked. Racist death threats are not a consequence of grief and they do not simply cause offence. <laughs> Imagine that. I only called you those racist things because my dad died. <laughs> <laughs> like what what's your dad dying have to do with that it's kind of similar to when like that time that um pewdiepie was playing flipping call of duty and just randomly said nigger like randomly just getting getting shot and getting killed like, nigger! with like a hard r like why, why going for this like why are you, why is it the first thing you say when you get duppied in the game like <laughs> anyway apologies like this void the context and public discourse and are deeply dangerous and so is liking or condemning them oh all right mate liking the post is, is fucking dangerous is it give your head a wobble go for a jog anyway clubs are spaces of protest and resistance and refuge what really have you been to fabric <laughs> has this guy ever been to fabric i don't think that's a that's a space of protest resistance of refuge <laughs> they serve you drinks in plastic cups <laughs> what someone who is both unstable and radicalized cannot share safe spaces especially with those already more at risk i'm urging those closest to felix to ensure he gets the proper care this is unacceptable behavior for anyone but especially a privileged british person who has made a career of music of marginalized people of color all right relax reggae and reggaeton are resistance music the people's music designers have no business playing it yeah you might as well tell benji b that as well isn't it tell benji b to stop playing i'm piano then like shut up but anyway he's got a point i just want to say who's who's like in terms of being mentally unstable and also just being complete cunts who's worse podcasters or dj no who's worse out of podcasters yeah i'm gonna ask the poll i want to do it in the chat who um who's got the biggest ego yeah uh let's let's just this in the chat here 
um, who has the biggest ego? Who has the biggest ego? Uh, let's see. Let's write DJs. Uh, stand up comedians. Mm, stand up comedians. Uh, add another one. Let's do podcasters. Because I think it's quite neck and neck. All, all three, I think it's quite neck and neck. I can't really, you know, I can't really kind of pick out of them. If I had to pick one, I'd probably say stand-up comedians because they legitimately think they're changing the world by telling jokes on stage. They honestly think they're changing the world. Um, definitely. Um, but there's also a hint of maybe podcasters because people who just sit in front of a microphone and just blabber like I do, some of them, especially the most successful ones, legitimately think they're way smarter than what they are and they legitimately think they're changing the world with what they're doing also. But I just feel like, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Uche, 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 Uche. Uche, please ban yourself from the chat. <laughs> Uche burning me. You're two of you're two for free, mate. <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> I feel attacked. I feel attacked. I feel exposed. And I feel seen. But I honestly don't know who to choose as worst kind of ego. Because this is fucking crazy, man. This is fucking Felix Hall, the son of Terry Hall. Born on fucking the you know, born on third base. Got the hell of a life. Grandfathered in. And this is what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway continuing um in a statement sent to mix mag low said i have never before had a personal issue with felix hall the issue is the bigotry racism and violence he's displayed and the greater dangers they represent since hall's public statement several musicians have appeared to step forward to share their experience with hall including why does everyone keep saying this like what, what is this about dance music we have to keep mentioning where you're from your nationality or your race north african dj like i think we'd kind of guessed that she was north african based on her name does it really matter? Like, I think it's only in flipping dance music that it matters. London based, Iraqi born, London raised, Swedish helmed. Like, what is all this shit about where you're from? As if it matters. Are you good or not? Can you can you mix yeah or nay? Can you make us dance yay or nay? Anyway, let's continue. North African DJ Mawa Belhaj Youssef, who posted a screenshot of the Instagram of an Israeli flag emoji. She received a message from Hall two days before Lowe's statement. Um, it goes here. Ma Mawa told Mixmag that she had never had a conversation with Hall prior to receiving the message <laughs> early in April. Most guys are like sliding into girls' DMs to basically hook up or to see if, you know, if they can hang out or take them out for dinner. And this guy is sliding into random girls' DMs and basically <laughs> attacking them <laughs> with Zionist messages. Absolutely psychopath, this guy is. He's a danger for the scene, which should be a safe space for all of us. No, it, bruv, the only safe space you have is your house. And sometimes that's not even safe. Do you know what I mean? Unless you've got a blicky under your pillow. Like, there is no such thing as a safe space. It continues. Manuka Honey also posted a statement on Twitter on Tuesday, 11th of April, stating that her own experience with four four years ago. Okay, cool. Let's see this. I want to see this one. Let's see this, this one. Four years ago, Felix Hall took my USB and scribbled. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but you know what it is. Let's see what this is saying. Oh. <laughs> you're just saying you're not like the rest. <laughs> yeah, thank you that's very comforting <laughs> i'm different than the other guys not like the other guys <laughs> honestly i was so brutal I, I don't think i don't know why i didn't even i didn't even see that myself like you're two for free mate i, I should have seen that when i was typing it myself what an absolute idiot i proper set myself up there but anyway continue it says here this person um they say four years later i'm feeling sp i'm fe finally speaking up about my experience with felix hall Rob, right? listen and flipping notes app with a heading and everything and paragraphs. She's definitely angry. It continues. Felix Hall's Zionism, misogyny and threats of abuse. Felix Hall's harmful behavior is devastating yet unfortunately unsurprising to me. This is a person who lies about or lies about or is purposely ambiguous about his heritage in order to cosplay as a Latino man. <laughs> Terry Hall's not fucking Latino what felix hall's a, he's, he's terry hall's son how can he be fucking latino 
<laughs> cosplay is Latino. He's trying to be. He, he's trying to cosplay as my favorite barbers, Dominican barbers, isn't it? Yeah? Hey, papi, banger, banger. Anyway, continue. Um, has uh, he, uh, as a Latino man has refused to perform before me on a lineup claiming to be a better DJ, and rescinded booking me after I refused to sleep with him. Oh, that's brutal. That's and that's that's what I'm wondering. Is what I'm thinking about this as well. I put the poll up already. Let's see the poll of who's of who's got the big. What what I, what, what I, what's my questions here? I said who's who has the biggest ego, and I and people are saying stand up comedians more so and podcasts a second. People are not voting for DJs at all. Okay, cool. I'm thinking for a for for a woman coming up in the industry, what's the most toxic and harmful place to be, like for your safety in terms of maybe getting assaulted in some way podcasting community i don't think so because you can kind of in you know in knock you know kind of isolate yourself from everybody but what's 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 more harmful where would you come more in harm's way stand-up culture scene you know in comedy clubs or in nightclubs i'm gonna say nightclubs just because it's dark and people are on tour and you're in hotel rooms and shit i think night nightclubs are probably more it's probably that kind of DJ scene has more of an option or more of a possibility of something crazy going on. But this seems to be a, a standard thing a lot of these guys do. And I always wondered why they do that to other fellow DJs. Like this kind of game would make more sense if you're, you know, talking to, it's a bit weird anyway, and it's kind of creepy in this on its own. But I would imagine this kind of game would work better with like fans. Like fans would probably be more willing to sleep with you just because you're famous as opposed to an up and coming artist, you know, because if anything, if you're a girl, even if you're single, even if you don't mind, you you know, you don't mind hooking up with randoms, it's probably not advisable to hook up with somebody who's trying to give you, who's doing, who's, who's saying you should hook up with them because they're going to promise you something because it's probably going to damage how you're viewed and it's going to hurt you long-term in the, in the scene overall. It's probably wiser to probably say no, even though it will, it probably will also impact you than it is to kind of agree with it. It's going to get messy. It's going to get murky. It's like sleeping with people at work. It just never works out in the long term. I don't think. Anyway, there's some occasions where it does. You know, you've got work colleagues who kind of hook up and end up getting married and stuff. But for the long, for the most part, it just makes stuff messy. So maybe in this scene, if you're coming up as a DJ and you're a woman and stuff, you're probably best to kind of just avoid all of it. And if someone does say, just politely decline and keep it moving. Or not politely decline, tell them to go fuck themselves. But still, it's probably not a good idea. And I don't know why the guys keep doing it to other artists. You're better off trying to fuck a random on tour than another artist. I would assume. But hey, what do I know? How many times will he be excused for his actions? This person says. On the tune of mental health until real accountability comes into play. I hope the people close to him who see and recognize his wrongdoings will call him in. It takes a lot for me to post something like this, but I have tried in the past to speak to Felix um, in private and he ridiculed, then blocked me. Free Palestine, solidarity with Muslim and Arab community and the people he has harmed. Bloody hell, brother. This Felix Hall guy sounds like an absolute piece of shit, doesn't he? Hall responded to the allegations on Instagram, but since deactivated his profile, the statement said he is struggling with mental health. Uh, that that old chestnut, eh? And was attempted to come to terms with the death of his father, Terry Hall of the specials who passed away in December. That is absolutely scumbag behavior, to be fair. You get accused of sending people Zionist messages, abusing people, you know, in some way sexually harassing others, and then you try and use the memory of your dead dad as a way to kind of protect yourself. That is psychotic scumbag behavior. Using your, the memory of your dead dad as a human shield, who's a legend in his own right, is absolutely horrible. The guy is turning in his grave, mate. O awful. An unhealthy relationship with alcohol is also unfortunately present. Yeah, I am absolutely determined to both address and change in all possible way. Nihal, um, a Cairo-based DJ and NTS host, responded to Hall's apology, stating that this is an insult to people who've experienced grief. Um... Okay, experience, experience grief. Not a podgy was given. Man manages to somehow frame Haddix as a victim and dangerously weaponize his mental health and grief as reasons behind racist and violent behavior. Exactly, that's a better way to put it. The non apology was given, and just to somehow frame Felix as a victim and dangerously weaponize his mental health and grief as reasons behind the racist, violent behavior. Yeah, this Felix Hall guy sounds like a piece of shit. Um, in a statement sent to Mixmag, Nihal added, um, Nihal, I said Nihal. 
um, added, um, people in solidarity with Palestine and anti-racists in general should not be shying away from having difficult conversation with people in their circles, even if it causes friction. Felix Hall has now been has now made a decision. This is funny, right? Because NTS seem to be unwilling to do anything when it comes to these type of situations. NTS didn't even sack him. He stepped away first. <laughs> NTS is slightly like the it's slightly like the live radio stage. It's, it's slightly like a the dance music equivalent of fucking Daily Caller or some shit, innit? Slyly. They don't like getting involved at all in the slightest. <laughs> Felix Hall has now made the decision to leave his regular show on NTS, which he had since 2016. We are made aware of the situation on the weekend and obviously we were shocked and upset, NTS told Mixmag. Felix has decided to step down from his show, which we agree is best course of action and NTS does not tolerate any form of bigotry. But they didn't even fire him. They let him step away easy PR win where they could have kind of made themselves look good and they don't. Stupid. London Gardens Festival has removed Felix Hall from the lineup. Ra Ted, he's going to go perform at Gala, okay? Um, this festival posted a statement on social media April 11th saying, we are saddened to learn the comments made by Felix Hall recently. Um, we have zero tolerance to hateful speech, blah, blah, blah. Hall's also scheduled to perform at venue MOT on April 9th, but also removed from the bill. French label Few Crackles has released his tunes. I've also put a statement condemning him so yeah basically you get condemned all round it's basically a wrap for him until you know until uh further notice but he'll be fine if he's using his dad's memory as a flipping human shield then you'll probably use his dad's money to basically prop himself up for the meantime absolute piece of shit um you know stay out there in the cold do your thing 